here to give the Biden administration and Nancy Pelosi a dose of Iowa common sense from a mom who drives a minivan and does that grocery shopping. We know how much Iowans are paying more for things at the grocery store. I can tell you, Iowans are paying more at the gas pump than they did the last time my eight-year-old was in diapers. It's completely unacceptable. And we know that this is a direct result of the Biden administration and Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats in control of Congress and their policies. Parents are bracing for back to school season, back to work, back to health, back to school, back to normal. But I can tell you, my 10 year old is with me this year or this week here in Washington, D.C. We're talking right now about back to school supplies. Mom, I want to go get my notebooks. I want to go get my crayons. All of that is going to cost more this year. On average, about $59 more per family. So let's be very clear about this. Inflation is a tax. Inflation is a tax on our middle and our working class families. So what does the Biden administration and Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats in Congress want to do? They want to double down on that spending spigot that they've turned on. And they want to spend three and a half trillion more of your tax dollars on failed policies that will not move this country forward. First and foremost, it's irresponsible, it's disrespectful for taxpayers, and it's deeply, deeply uh, reckless. So Iowans are sitting around their kitchen tables having these conversations every day. And it's clear to all of us standing here today, back in our districts, our constituents are having those same kitchen table conversations. And the Biden administration and Nancy Pelosi have turned a deaf ear to those conversations. Well, we can tell you, we hear you. We are listening, and we will continue to stand up for you here in Congress because it's really about the future of our country. Our conference will keep fighting this tax and spend agenda, and we are working to make it easier for all of you, parents, families, to put food on the table, do your job, get back to work, get back to health, and most importantly, get back to normal. So that's our agenda here. And now